Hello everyone, I'm Chris from England and this is a special video for the Learn English as Easy as Pie Facebook page and the admin there, Moshtaba Yagubi. Today I'm going to give you some advice about how to be a great tour guide and this means what qualities do you need to have and to improve upon to excel in this kind of role. So let's have a think about it. As a tour guide, you're going to have to be working with a lot of people who maybe can't speak the language very well. Of course, they don't know the area. So first of all, you need to be friendly and personable. You need to have what we call great people skills. It means that you always like to meet new people, you're sociable, and that you can communicate effectively with everyone. You have to be polite, courteous and patient because it's not going to be easy to communicate with all the tourists, especially with culture differences and language difficulties. You need to be able to take your time to keep explaining until they can understand you. And this might be time consuming, but as part of your job, you will need to stay calm and to make sure that everyone understands what you're saying. You need to be understanding of all the problems that they have, and you need to know the answers or be able to help them, especially as they are in a strange place. So they might be anxious and worried and they will really need someone there to guide them, to be friendly, to make them feel more comfortable. And you will have to be happy with answering questions, of course. The people you are guiding are going to have so many questions and it will be part of your job to answer all of them professionally, politely, and even if you don't know the answer, to do the best you can to help them. Aside from people skills and communication skills, you will need to know many things about the place that you are guiding them around. For example, the history, interesting stories in the past to do with the buildings and the general area. And it will be really helpful if you have a good memory, uh, particularly for facts and figures, of course, dates, numbers, all these kind of things, that would be really great. And so remembering that you are speaking to people who will not be native speakers of your language, probably, you will need to remember at all times to speak slowly and clearly and it, it might not be possible to make them understand just by speaking. So you need to remember to use maybe body language or have maps so that you can show not just with words but with pictures or with a map to give directions. And of course with directions you'll need to be clear about where everything is and be able to communicate effectively to everyone as to how they need to get where they want to go. Finally, it would also be really useful if you are able to show them what we call a fun time. So, of course, they're going to want to see interesting places and historical places and learn many things, but I'm sure if they're on holiday, they'll want to have a bit of fun as well. So again, being sociable and knowing where they can go to relax and enjoy themselves would really make for a great occasion. So I think that those are some of the main points. Uh, maybe there are more, but if you concentrate on these ones, I'm sure that it will really help you becoming a great tour guide. 